It makes sense, certainly to me, if you're recording all of your tracks at a level where the peak is somewhere, say, between minus three and minus ten, right, for mm -hmm. every individual track. Once you've mm -hmm. summed a bunch of channels together, like what you see here, inevitably you're going to end up with a level that's too hot and that you're that's going to happens. have to turn it down. Yeah. Um, the good news is, you know, with Pro Tools or Studio One or, you know, any sort of modern DAW, we're operating in a floating point digital universe. So, so long as you're not making changes that are in the order of 40 or 50 or 60 dB, then I start to hear the artifact, mm -hmm. the, the change that happens okay. because I'm making extreme changes in gain. Mm -hmm. With floating point, you've got so much dynamic range. So I could actually take these and start at even a lower level, like even a, a minus 30 and be okay? That's correct. And now, by doing that, I have so much more room to work with on my stereo bus. Ooh, to rebalance a few things too. <laughs> <laughs>